What's up, Dilly Gang? Touch. Coming to you live once again with another tutorial with the Behringer Poly D. And in this video, we're going to show you how to make a funky bass patch and just sort of just go over some basics. It's like the Model D, but you, if you may not have a Model D or you may have a different synthesizer, I just wanted to show you how I achieved that on the Poly D. Now, before I get started, I want to let you know about my new loop library that I just dropped called Dem Chords Volume 2 90s R&B Loops. They're dope. Producers have been using them. They've been making crazy tracks with them. If you want to check it out, hit the link in the description below. All right. So we're here. And the first thing that I want to show you is how to get some sound going. So I want to go from do it from scratch. Of course, we don't have recallable presets on here. It's, it's basically based off of the, the Model D or the MIDI Moog. And so there's no preset recall outside of the sequencers but i'm going to do a video about that in another video tutorial okay all right so as you can see as i press it we got lights but we can barely hear anything so we got to make sure that we adjust the loudness contour so what i like to do is take the attack and the loudness contour and decay turn them all the way down to zero and turn that sustain up to 10. now we get that buzzy now we gotta shape that. And and in order to do that, we wanna bring it down a, a few octaves. So let's bring the uh oscillator one to sixteen feet. And as you can hear, if I bring it down. Well, we're gonna keep it right there because we're gonna actually add another oscillator. Which is cool. And if you want to kind of give it a little bit of a percussion, you can actually turn the sustain down a little bit. Hear that kind of percussion sound, but we're not going to do that. We're going to keep that sustain up. And let the filter do the talking. All right. So now what I'm going to do is add a second oscillator by turning it on right here at the mixer section. But we know we got to have it up high. What I typically like to do is just do a simple, really simple dual tone funky bass sound. So I'll take the second oscillator and put it on 32 feet. And you're basically in the pocket. And as you are can hear, you can kind of hear that little detune coursing effect in there. I just like to play an F because it's very easy for me to run. So now that we have that, we're going to try and shape that, see if we can smooth that tone out a little bit. But if you want to rock it like this, or change these to the square, you can do it that way. But we're going to keep it on a sawtooth. And that's another thing. Make sure you set to the sawtooth on the waveform. That's what I like to do. Now let's bring the filter down. And another thing though, I want to kind of make that second oscillator be more in tune so it doesn't sound too coarsey. We got a little bit of a sound there. So pretty much you're there, and if you want to add a little bit of glide, you can. Turn up the glide a little bit. All right. And let's go ahead and add a little, let's make the filter talk a little bit. In order to do that, we're going to make the filter affect the voice by adjusting the amount of counter. 
and then we're going to turn down that decay so that's the decay of zero this is our sustain point we're going to turn that decay up a little bit turn down that glide a little bit let that sustain up a little bit so we can let that note ring a little bit. Now you hear that. Make it pop a little bit more by turning the cutoff down a little bit. I like that sound. And uh, another thing I can do with that, you want to detune it a little bit? You can add a little bit of course there. But I like to like, kind of keep more straight on there because we have the course block. So if I want to add a little bit of course color. One thing I don't like with this is that the gate for the, the amplitude, the loudness resets every time you go between two notes. So I, I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's me, but typically I want that... I want that... Uh, I mean, you got your funky bass right there. I love that chorus effect on it. It really adds some color to it. it. Makes it sound really funky. Though you do get a little bit of noise with that. But if you take that off of there... I mean, it's going to hit the subs just fine. Want to smooth that out a little bit? You almost do a little bit of a techno thing there. So that's basically how you get funky bass on here. If you like these type of videos, let me know in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you like tutorials like this. You never know what keyboard, another guest star keyboard is going to show up in there. So I hope that helps you make your own bass patches on this platform. This is a great synthesizer to play with. Uh, the only thing, really the only thing I could take away from this is that, that hearing that attack reset every time you go from one note to another. I want it to simply glide a little bit. And I don't think there's a mode for me for that all right so see you guys in the next video peace continuing on the sound design legacy brought to you by dillyot2k.com we now introduce to you dim chords volume 2 a soul filled loop pack containing 30 90s r&b chord progressions in the style of teddy riley babyface and many others from the golden age of r&b you can loop chop transpose and sculpt these loops into your next placed platinum hit for today's demands on music production. Keep it old school or add some fresh paint with the MIDI files also included in this library. Last and not least, all loops are royalty free with no catches. Dem Chords Volume 2 continues the legacy bringing the past into the future. Purchase Dem Chords Volume 2 today and be inspired now. Use the discount code to receive your discount off the street price.